Welcome back to Valley Life. I'm Alicia Safias. This morning we are talking about our financial futures, and this is just the guy to help us with that. From Fresno, Peter Berman of Centaurus Financial. Welcome. Thank you very much. I thought today we might talk about a little more about financial control and financial planning. What we're going to talk about real quickly and just briefly, you might want to hear about, are the use of bonds. A lot of people ask me about bonds. Are they any good? Or aren't they good? I think in some cases they're real good and a good idea for you to have and to own. Of course, today, you know, with our current interest rates, bonds don't pay that well. And the only problem we have with buying bonds today is that if our regular interest rates go up, the value of bonds that you buy today are going to go down, which is not a good thing. However, the great thing is I don't think interest rates are going to move in this nation until 2015. So therefore, short-term bonds are going to be okay. Long-term bonds, bonds not so good because if they pay 3% and the new ones come out in 2017 or pay at 8%, you're not going to like your bond very well. Okay, before we really get into all of that, give us all a lesson in what type of bonds there are and kind of go through the steps for us and kind of dumb it down so that we can all understand because we all can learn something from you about this. Yes, you can, and it's uh, and they're interesting. There are so many kinds of bonds. Most of you probably remember the election we had on the Fresno Chaffee Zoo bonds. Those are general obligation bonds that we hope will help build our zoo. We have school bonds that you all have seen. We have municipal bonds that the city of Fresno floats in order to be able to pay their bills. We have corporate bonds. We have other kinds of bonds, all of them with different tax implications. So you should know what they are. And mainly, bonds are something where the environment is that the person selling those bonds or the company selling those bonds to bring funds in for themselves. There are short-term bonds and there are long-term bonds. We really wanna get something that's gonna have the best interest rate and the best chance for that person that owns the bonds to get paid. Because to in today's environment, we've had some problems, but it's getting better. So therefore, you should be looking at buying bonds for your future. I would not buy long-term bonds today, just as I said earlier, because long-term bonds could go down in value as our interest rate changes. And we're saying interest rates are going to change about 2015. That's what we seem to think. And that's what Bernanke is telling us. <laughs> Okay, now a lot of people now are worried about their financial futures. A lot of people are struggling with their own personal finances, but it really is a good time to make investments, isn't it? But it needs to be tailored to each of us individually. We shouldn't just kind of follow one pattern. That's exactly right. That's the reason you should see a financial planner and someone like me or other people who do financial plannings, you should definitely see those people and talk to them. I think a lot of the information that's in the newspapers could be misconstrued or not really correct because they aren't written by financial planning people. So you should be careful how you're doing it. Every single person is different. So that's the reason why you should give us a call and talk to us about what is right for you. We do financial planning. We're teaching a course in financial planning at Fresno State at Smith Camp House in March, in the first two weeks of March that I think all of you would enjoy. It's a six hour class. You can even get one credit college credit for attending the class for six hours it's almost free you get a nice binder you learn all about all the instruments of finance to include the bond stocks life insurance mutual funds and all the rest of it and i'm going to teach it and enjoy it along with a couple of my friends from fresno state and i'd like to see you there I think that is a great way to do it because we can actually get college credit and learn about it. And you actually are going to be able to give us the tools we need to be able to start planning some things for our futures. No question about it. And you do need that information. Rather than just drive around and listen to things and talk about things, you really need to get the correct information and understand exactly what you're talking about. Even including your life insurance. You need to know just what that is and all the kinds of life insurance. Now is the time to really really learn about how to handle your future. I think a lot of people kind of got slapped in the face when the economy started going down and they weren't prepared but I think if this has taught us anything it has been that we need to be prepared and now is a good time to start doing it. Now is the time. If any time is the time, it is now. With a current administration and the way we're doing things in the nation, it's time to very carefully plan what you're doing. The Fresno Bee even has an article on that today. Be careful, 
look at it, look at what you're doing and how you're doing it. And I just can't recommend it any more than that. So how can people come in and talk to you? Because we do want individual plans for us and you can help us with that. What do we need to know? What you need to do is you need to call me. I'm right here in Fresno at Palm and Bullard. Give me a call, 446-0105, listed everywhere. Give me a call, make an appointment, come in and sit down. And you know what, Alicia, it doesn't even cost you anything to do that, to sit down and chat with us. Well, and that's we're going to help you a lot. That's wonderful. And help us all plan for a better future. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Alicia. It's nice to be here. All right. And Valley Life will be right back.